Hello, my name is Michael. I'm a senior MRI technician with the iMed network. I thoroughly enjoy the capability of being able to image a vast array of pathologies and anatomy. It's about dealing with different sorts of people every day. It's about answering their questions. So your doctor's asked you to have an MRI scan. Uh, MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It uses a very strong magnetic field, radio waves, and a changing magnetic field to take images inside your body. MRI is a very safe procedure. It doesn't use any ionising radiation or x-rays. And we can do MRI on almost all patients, including young children and pregnant patients as well. Essentially, when you make your booking with the receptionist, uh, the receptionist will ask you a couple of quick questions to make sure that you can actually proceed with the booking. Uh, once that's determined, you'll come in for your scan at the appropriate time. Uh, at that point, uh, I'll come and get you for your scan. We'll get you changed so that you don't have anything metal on you. Uh, we'll take you in, we'll explain how we have to do the scan, and we'll set you up and we'll get the scan going. MRI uses a very strong magnetic field to help produce the pictures. Because of that, we have to be very careful with what gets introduced into the MRI room itself. Typically in Australia, those magnetic fields are between 15,000 gauss and 30,000 gauss. This is about 10,000 times stronger than any magnetic field that you've probably ever touched. Because MRI uses such a strong magnetic field, there are some things that we cannot take inside the MRI room for your own safety. These include pacemakers, some aneurysm clips, and electronic devices inside your body. Although the MRI is a very strong magnetic field, it will actually only interact with things that are magnetic. So things like your artificial joints and fillings aren't going to be a problem inside the machine. Before your procedure, the receptionist is going to go through an MRI safety questionnaire with you. It is very important that you answer these questions correctly and honestly. This is for your safety while going through the procedure. Prior to your procedure, you may need to fast for a few hours because you may require a contrast injection during your scan. The injection we use is a contrast medium called gadolinium. Gadolinium is very safe and has no correlation to the iodine that we use in CT and X-ray. So if you have an allergy to iodine, you can still have gadolinium. In incredibly rare instances, you may have an allergic reaction to gadolinium. It's no different to any other drugs. Our radiographers and radiologists on site are well trained to be able to deal with these reactions and you're in good hands if anything was to happen. The MRI scan itself doesn't use any ionising radiation or doesn't use anything like an X-ray. So it is perfectly safe to have done. The scan itself is painless. Very rarely you'll get a bit of a warm sensation. This is because we use radio frequency energy to help us produce the pictures. The machine itself is very noisy. For this reason we will give you some hearing protection. These headphones can often play music, so please make sure you bring your favourite music CD if you'd like to listen to one. The actual scan time itself varies dependent on what you're actually having done. Typically most scans are between 20 to 30 minutes time, although some can be quite a lot longer and take up to an hour. During the scan, I'll place a coil around the anatomy that we're trying to take the pictures of to help us get the best pictures. Typically, one in 10 patients that come to see us suffer from some form of claustrophobia. This is something we deal with every single day. Our technicians are very well trained to look after you. The machines these days are much better suited to deal with claustrophobic patients as well. They're much wider, they're not as long, and the scan times don't take as long either. So you shouldn't have any problems getting through with your procedure. During the scan as well, you'll have a patient call button. So if you have any problems, please give it a call and the technician will be happy to talk to you and come and see you. So don't be worried if you are a little bit claustrophobic and having your scan done. So as a radiographer, I'm not a doctor. As such, although we can read your images, it is not our position to be able to make your radiology report. That is actually made by a specialist doctor that we have on site who's a dedicated radiologist. It takes the radiologist some time to properly look and evaluate your films to be able to give your referrer a diagnostic report. So you'll need to go back to see your referring doctor to be able to get the results for your scan today. 